This is a, a movie called Can You Ever Forgive Me? It's based on a true story. And uh, as you can see, it's a very dramatic role for Melissa. It's really, I mean, you're excellent. You will be nominated Aww. for a, an Academy Award for this. I, I really think you will. <laughs> I mean, it's so, but it's a story that, I didn't know the story before, but tell the I, story. I didn't either. It's the story of Lee Israel that I always can, I felt a little disappointed in myself that I didn't know who she was or what her story was. She was a, a, a fairly successful writer in the you know, 80s and then in the 90s fell on really hard times. Uh, and this is the story of, you know, she was backed into a corner and started forging um, letters by very famous uh, writers. She was putting little, uh, well, sometimes the full letters, but she was writing as Dorothy Parker, Noel Coward, all these, you know, the best writers that we've ever known, and she was getting away for it with it. Because and she was so clever. Because she was such a great writer, such great wit, uh, until she was caught by the FBI. And then it took a very different uh, yeah. a very different turn, but it's just, it's a lovely story of just someone who's truly can be so lonely, even within, you know, the big busy city of, of New York. And, uh, and her and Jack, who is played by Richard E. Grant, who's just lovely, these two very lonely, um, unlikely people become friends. And it's, it's kind of a beautiful, you know, Story just about humanity. Yeah, and the relationship with you two is, yeah. is great. It's it's really oh, good. Thanks. So she's she's arrested for forgery. Um, have you ever been arrested? No. <laughs> and I no one's more surprised than myself or my parents <laughs> that I can say that I did steal a chunky once. Just, do you remember anyone who's of a certain age that was this big like chunk of chocolate that you were like like an unreasonable? Nobody <laughs> needs like a just solid mass of chocolate. And I don't know why um, my dad came down the aisle. We were like in the dime store and I was like, just trying to suddenly realizing like, there's a lot of chocolate to take down. <laughs> like I can't actually digest it all. And then my dad came around the corner and he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I, I had chocolate in my pocket. And he goes, oh, okay, come on. We're going and we get in the car and I'm just sweating bullets. I'm probably four or f maybe four or five, something like that. Sweating bullets, but I'm like, I got away with that chunky. <laughs> in the back seat, and then out of nowhere, like not related to anything, my dad's like, so Missy was eating chocolate in the store. And I was like, you son of a gun. <laughs> and my mom, I just remember seeing this. She was? <laughs> and I was like, uh, and she goes, where did she get it? And she said, well, um, she had it in her pocket, she said. And she goes, oh, is that right? Did she buy that with her paycheck? <laughs> and I knew, and she like looked back at me again, and I was like, oh God, I'm in so much trouble. And my mom, my dad and my sister got out, we drove out to the farm, they got out of the car, I started to get out, my mom's like, don't move. And she turned the car around, and we went back into town, and I got a quarter, because I'm 100, and that's how much a chunky cost. <laughs> uh, and I had to go in and I was sobbing and crying, and there was some kid that I thought was an adult, he's probably 17 at the counter, and I had this, I'm midnight, so oh, uh, chunk, chunky. Ah! Uh, and he goes, that's okay. And I remember my mom knocking on the glass and just like, it is not okay! <laughs> Don't tell her it's okay, it's not okay! And I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> And then we just drove home and I never stole another chunky. Well, good for your mom. Yeah. Yeah. Good for your mom. Good for Sandy. Very clever. <laughs> She'd buy it with her paycheck. Um, yeah. Can You like, Ever oh. Forgive Me is out next Friday. Uh, you should see it. It's really, really good, and she's fantastic in it. We'll be right Thank back. You.